Welcome back, guys, to the Dark Souls run. Um, last time we were kind of shot down on our attempts to do some invasion, but this time we're going to make some progress, and we're going to go right to the forest over here. And no more goofing around for right now. Um, this part of the game is pretty tough, um, but the part we're going to shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I've got this Drake Sword, which is a lot more powerful than the weapons that you pretty much should have at this point. So, a lot of the stuff won't take as long to kill. Um, maybe I should check how many arrows I have before we go. Um, foo, 46. I don't know. Well, I'm just going to stick with it because I don't feel like running all the way back to the vendor. Because, um, actually, does this guy over here sell arrows now? I think they patched in these guys to sell arrows. If he does, I'll buy some from him. The, uh, blacksmith. Because... Next area we go to, I'm gonna need some arrows probably. Well, uh... um, yes, he does. Okay, cool. All right, I am just gonna spend the remainder of what I've got on arrows because I'm definitely gonna use them. So I got about 150 okay, right now. Oh, uh, and let's make our way to the forest again. Um, I hope the audio on this one's a little bit better for my voice. I know I don't have the best microphone in the world, but last time uh, it was just very inconsistent on uh, my last few videos, so I'm hoping this one will be a lot better. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's press on. Hi, Mr. Bush. How you doing? Purple moss clumps. Okay, so those you use to heal when you get poison. Um, which there is a part in the game where you're definitely going to be doing that. I'm not going to mask it. You probably already know it as well as I do. Blight Town. And make sure you're going to need a lot of the poison reduction stuff for that area. Alright, last time we were playing, we did get over here. We did get to the first bonfire. Making short, ooh, making short work of these guys with this Drake sword, which is nice. Still, they have the potential to grab onto you and suck your life away, very much like Metroids do. Except, you know, Metroids don't scare the shit out of you as much as bushes do. I mean, bushes don't scare as much as Metroids. My bad. Anyway. Let's rest out this bonfire. I'm human right now, so there's a, a risk that I might be getting invaded at some point during this. Uh, I really wish there was a way to go back to hollow form so I don't get jumped on, but whatever. This doesn't look very good. Wake up. Wake up. You can always tell where these bushes are because you can see like that little weird bushy thing that's got like the little bits of red in it. Pretty much easy to spot them once you spot them. Spot them once, you pretty much can spot them forever, but they still can jump, get a jump on you because they're tricky. Uh oh, it's a white light. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. So, what do you guys think? Should I show you the secret in here or not? Hmm. There's a couple different secrets, but I'll just go over here. This is not really a secret, but kind of a little hidden-ish area. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a bush? I knew it was a bush. Bush, bitch. Alright, go back here. This little sneaky little area. And, hmm, that doesn't look very safe, does it? So, we're gonna shoot this with an arrow. Blam! Chameleon! Guys, I'm sorry if I spoil any of the surprises in this game, but it's just kind of hard to act surprised after you've already beaten it, so... Oh well. 
Um, alright. Well, I'm gonna show you this little secret area over here before I trigger any of these dumb guys. There'll be a note right here. Try attacking. See how this tree's kind of like moving? It's kind of alive. It won't attack you back, but... Totally destroy it. And... You... A hidden pathway. Now, there's other ways to get down here besides attacking the trees. You can actually fall down from up above on your way over here, but... That could be tricky, and you could also fall to your death if you fall down in the wrong area. Oh god. Watch out for these things. I've never really been hit by one of those, but I don't want to be. They don't look very good for my health. Hmm. Anything over here I miss? Nope. And we got another tree blocking the path, but I think I can run right by him if I'm not mistaken. Yep. <clears throat> this tree will live another day. Alright, um... What do we got over here? Spooky forest! Hmm... I think I can wake this guy up. Nope, I have to actually co go wake him up manually. Oh, these guys are kind of a pain. Oh god, manta rays. Can I hit him with a bow back here? Nope. He's like, screw you, I got a shield, motherfucker. Oh god. Ouch. I was worried about these manta rays more than him, to be honest with you. I don't know what they do, I just can't imagine they do good things. Oh god, slowness spell. I don't know if he got me with it, though. Oh god. Alright, I want to flask it up. I want to go off a cliff. I think I'm near a cliff. I don't want to go... Oh god, now I'm slow. Shit. Alright, got that. Let's see if get behind this guy. And he's done. Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was kind of scared these guys were going to take me out. Alright, so which way would we be going here? Uh, this way, apparently. Hi, Manta Ray. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, Not anymore. I don't know what happens when these guys hit you. I mean, they like poison you or something. I don't want to know. I, <laughs> you know, I don't really, I just really don't want to know. I know there's a pathway over here, but I'm gonna check over here to make sure I don't get, like, attacked in the back or something. <clears throat> Alright, he's done for. Alright, what item do we have over here? Soul of a Proud Knight. I think those are worth, like, a thousand or something, so that's pretty good. Um, what's he got? More green blossoms. I'm not really even sure what those do. I think it's some kind of healing item. I never use it. Alright, um, let's head on over to this area. I really liked how this game has some kind of like little secret areas like this, because if you didn't know to attack that tree or fall down by accident or whatever, you would just never find this area. Aha, another one of the stone golems. You can't attack them until they fully stand up. So don't use too much junk on them until they stand up. Oh god. Just slow me down. I got you, bitch! Yeah, once you kill them, that curse goes away, so that's pretty good. Wolf Ring. I think, what does this one do? Alright, this one boosts your poise, and I think that lets you uh, take less damage and your stamina when you're blocking, like, like you won't get stumbled as easy. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't really ever use that one either. But I imagine it's pretty good. Probably good if you're getting hammered by a lot of small hits. Like that one dude was doing to me when he invaded me. I don't know, he was just like, attack, 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 and I couldn't do anything. 
All right, so let's make our way back out here. This tree, I don't like you, man. So I kicked the tree. See you later, you bark bitch. All right, let's go back up here where we came and continue on in this area. Alright, as you can see there's more stone golems and there's actually some other enemies in here so I gotta be careful not to aggro everybody at once or that could be bad. Hello! Hi there! Come on over here, I got a present for you! I can kick that guy's shield away, I don't even know if it works there. But I'll just kick my ass. Unfortunately, he made me slow, but he's also slow. See, he didn't even get a hit on me. Oh, I got a shield, that's kind of cool. I think it requires, like, an obscene amount of strength, though, to use or something. Yeah, 38 strength. Yeah, yeah I got uh, 16, so I'm not going to be using that anytime soon. As you can tell, they put an item over here, you know? Because you can't resist to get an item, right? really don't want to get myself trapped by these guys. Aha! See, I knew you were there, bitch. I knew it. Oh, 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 got you, bitch. And yeah, I know. I say bitch a lot. But I enjoy calling people bitches as I kill them. I don't really want to get two of these guys at once. The bush. I want to get this stone golem out. There's another stone golem over here, too. And I don't really don't want to get two at once. I could probably take him, though. I mean, this Drake Sword's pretty good. Of course he's stuck over here. Come on, man. Really? You're going to get stuck on the tree? The little tiny pine tree? You're going to get stuck on it? It's even slower than that. Being a corpse, bitch! Alright, I think we got... Which way were we going here? This way? Alright. You kind of turn around when I'm fighting because I do a lot of circling. Alright. Um, I think we got more bushes over here. Yep. Not really a big deal, though. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let me give you a little roughing up with my sword. Oh, God. He missed me with his spell. Oh, wait, what? He missed me with a spell and I still got hit. Okay, I can't roll. I can't fucking roll. I'm fucking... Oh, I'm dead. No. Well, you know what? I got a new tactic. I'm just gonna run past them all. That can't be dangerous, right? Oh, and yeah, those stone guys, they respawn. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, well... This could be dangerous, guys. I've got nine flasks, though, so it's not too bad. I'm just gonna try to evade, like, everything. So, wish me luck, guys! souls. Can I get my souls? Do you think I can get my souls? Oh no, get him. Get him. Yeah. Get him wherever this is. Oh god, an elite knight armor. Oh god, more dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god, more dudes. Ah. I think I'm gonna make it, guys. I think I'm gonna make it. Yeah! Suck on that! Alright. Fighting another boss now. Where is it? Oh, there it is.
Come on, man. Oh. Ooh. Gotta roll out of the way of that. Got. Ooh, I missed. Alright, I missed me. Oh, that did. Oh, that didn't miss me. This is what I wanted arrows for. You can kill this boss without arrows or magic. A lot easier when you got the arrows. You can do it some damage before it comes down. Oh. I'm really, like, careful. When I'm using my healing items here, I just don't want to die. Uh oh, no, 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 no! For some attacks, I'm gonna do do two hand this weapon. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Uh oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! That thing does you like massive damage if you let it hit you. you pretty much outright kill, I think. I need to up my dexterity. I'm not doing like 29 and arrows. Good. Oh god, man. Stop doing that every time I go to shoot an arrow. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Heal. Oh my lord, man. I can't dodge shit. Uh oh. Heal, 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 heal. Oh my god, I can't even move. Come on, you just gotta land one more time. Yeah, come on. Bam, you're dead, bitch. Yeah, victory achieved. Oh god, <laughs> everything's coming after me now. Man, I can't believe that bush followed me all the way up here. Any more guys? I imagine they're probably all waiting for me at the bottom of the stairs. I hope they can't all reach me up here, because that would be bad. More staircase action. Gotta be careful. I've fallen off these stairs before. You would die. It's quite a fall. This game's copying Metroid. <laughs> Dude crouching and holding this. I thought he was an enemy, man. I was attacking the shit out of this guy, but nope. Watchtower Basement Key, and Divine Ember, and Homeward Bone. Now the Divine Ember that I just picked up, that will let me uh, enchant my weapons with Divine uh, Damage. And to be honest with you, I, there's only like one part in the entire game where that's actually useful. So, I mean what I mean by that is it makes whatever weapon you enchant will go back to like its base damage and then you'll have like a Divine Damage on top of that, but most stuff isn't really weak to Divine. It's kind of like an odd type of magic, so you're probably going to do less than any of the other enchants that you get later on the game, like fire or whatever. So, yeah, I wouldn't suggest doing anything with divine, but I do suggest, though, that you always have some kind of divine weapon on you at all times, because there are some enemies that you can only kill outright with the divine stuff, so I'm going to use this homeward bone, because I really don't want to die. Um, so we got eight of them, like I said, we might as well use them. Alright, so uh, I think that will wrap up this episode of Dark Souls, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, please uh, tell your friends about this playthrough, because uh, it would be nice to get some more people to 
check this out. Um, no way of trying to, like, sound retarded or anything, but hey, more people to watch is fun for me. But I appreciate everybody's support so far of the run, and uh, I will continue this run no matter what. So I will see you guys next time, and have a good day.